Matthew 24, 22, Isa Yeshua, Jesus, our living Lord of all, the Lamb of God, our majesty of majesties, said that unless these days were cut short by the word of God, only the word of God can change the future by showing us the future. That happened to Alexander the Great, who was shown himself in scripture uh, by Isaiah, uh, Nathan the prophet in the book of Jewish antiquities uh, shows Alexander the Great his destiny that he would be unbeatable says the word of God and look what he did and in the same way the revelation the latter day Daniel am I who has embraced my destiny as that uh, just as Daniel twelve thirteen says I come forth now telling you that the way that God wants to return his terrifying anger uh, that is written in Jeremiah 30, 24. He says, I will return it. I will stop it if you will give me the desire of my heart to send forth this alarm, to send forth this message unto Putin so that he can understand that he is most definitely the king of the north. And as it is written in Daniel 11, he shall come to a bitter, ugly end. And if he will actually believe that truth, it will cut time short. So none of it even has to happen. It's all with the heart and mind of one man who is con committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit slowly. That's like a frog in hot water, just desensitized. You turn up the temperature. Next thing that poor froggy knows, its feet are up and it's a cooked uh, dead duck, a cooked goose. And that is what Vladimir Putin is be doing now. And he doesn't realize uh, in his religion, his Jesus will forgive him. This is a false Jesus in this world. And the name of Jesus has now been disallowed. The name of love has been hoisted up as the, the not most whitest standard, not a black standard, a white standard for all the world to follow. Because his name is love to every knee will the name of love vow and every tongue will confess love this is the restoration of elijah of matthew 17 11 that i would restore all things by the word of god i tell you truly uh the lord god does not un does not forgive lovelessness the cost to us is is to lose our everlasting uh life and uh, because it is all ours if we will only be as a little child with our love alive as a verb. But if we let it die and become just a noun, we are committing that unforgivable sin. So uh, Vladimir, if he hears this message and considers the words uh, of the Bible, the words that uh, say that he is toast and that he will never rise again and that he will be disgraced, if he believes those words are about him because that is a latter-day prophecy, that it says it's for the latter days. But his Jesus is a false Jesus. That name of Jesus didn't even come about until the 17th century. Jesus never heard the name Jesus. Muhammad never heard the name of Jesus. When they called Jesus, it was Yeshua. And up until the 17th century, it was always Yeshua. And then Yeshua and Yahweh became Jesus and uh, uh, Jehovah. But first it started with the I-E, Isis. Uh, was the first translation. Who the heck uh, wrote those holy names? It wasn't a scribe. It wasn't an apostle. It was some scribe. No one even knows. That name of Jesus, uh, only a distortional people of love who don't even understand what love is. The whole world has holy books, and they don't know what the flib they mean. So if you want to cut time short as, as the true majesty of majesties, our hero of heroes, our icon of icons, the risen lamb of God, if you want to hear his living word to cut time short, it will only be done through the word of God, us knowing the, the future, Vladimir knowing his future as Vlad, the impaler, the monster of all that all people shall spit upon his uh his name evermore as he dishonors his mother and his father. For cursed shall he be when he awakes. Cursed shall he be when he goes to sleep. Cursed shall he always everlastingly be because he shall be uh, thrown and cast out into the place where there is weeping and, and uh, <laughs> gnashing of teeth. And his are going to be worn down to a, a nub.